Good evening. Hi, how are you? Delighted to be here in London. My name is Adolfo Crespo, and I'm Senior Vice President, Customer Service and Corporate Communications with Mexicana. What brings you here today to London? Well, there are several issues that I need to work with in London. Uh, one of them is we're going to have in um, next September, we're sponsoring the Moctezuma exhibition at the British Museum. So I came to see some issues that need to be worked at. And uh, we are also here working. We started flying to London Gatwick last January. So we are an online airline now. It was our first European flight in our long history. And we were very excited about this flight from Mexico City to London Gatwick four times a week. So it's a direct flight, Mexico City, Gatwick. Non-stop service four times a week. And what was the strategy behind launching that service? Well, um, the UK is the third largest tourist um, producer for Mexico. So there's tremendous traffic between our two countries. And we were seeing that many of these passengers were traveling via other countries, such as Canada or the United States. Uh, so we started offering nonstop service. There's another airline operating three times a week, nonstop service, and we're flying almost the days that that other airline's not operating. So the idea is bring UK travelers over to Mexico City as the hub, and then they can go off to the various Correct. tourist destinations. Tourist destinations and business destinations. We have one of the largest domestic networks in uh, Mexico, where you can go to just about every single airport uh, that operates commercial airlines in Mexico. And then we're also leaders in the Mexico Central and South American markets. So we have also the best connections to Costa Rica, to Panama, to Guatemala, to El Salvador, as well as to Argentina, Colombia, Venezuela. Okay, you're currently a member-elect of the One World Alliance. You, you're joining in November. What's involved in that preparation? A lot. <laughs> we are, are working on aligning our systems to all One World Airlines, especially the Amadeus reservations and inventory and control systems, which we have already passed that test last June. And in October, we'll be finishing with the airport check-in modules and we will be a full Amadeus airline by November. And how will that change how you operate as an airline, being part of One World Alliance? Well, that's going to definitely help us because our passengers will be able to uh, check in from, let's say, Bali in Indonesia all the way to Argentina, and it's all going to be seamless. You'll be able to check in. Not only you are you going to get your boarding passes, on every single um, leg of the flight, but also your luggage will be also transferring all the, all the airlines as well. That's just one of the issues. Also, you'll be able to occur and redeem miles with our programs, and you'll be able to have a lot more miles. It's going to, be, it's going to make it a lot easier for um, our passengers to, to fly with, with us and with, with other One World carriers. And how does that fit in with how you see aviation evolving over the next decade or so, making the, the customer experience easier? Well, that's, that's our main goal. Um, we are trying to become a frictionless airline. We know that there are many boundaries or many steps that passengers have to go through. Unfortunately, this world has created uh, sort of a difficult experience for the passengers. And what we're trying to do is try to overcome these barriers. And as, as far as what is the airline part of the business, not the airport, we want to make it as smooth and as frictionless as possible. They say that the, the, the battle for the air is won on the ground. As an airline, Mexicana, what are you doing to make the experience frictionless and the speed up the process in which the customer arrives at the airport to actually take off? Well, on one hand, our web page is one of the most advanced uh, online experiences in the industry where you can compare prices. If you want to fly, let's say, Mexico City, Monterey, there's a tremendous amount of, um, of 
of seats available and flights available. And perhaps so you don't need to get there in a certain time. You're able to change hours or change days. You'll be able to get a much uh, better rate. Uh, that's just one issue. You, of course, are able to uh, get your boarding pass online. And you won't have to stand in line uh, during check-in if you don't have any, any luggage. And we're introducing very shortly the drop-off bag line at Mexico City International Airport. Now you started in 1921, which makes you uh, the fourth or arguably the third oldest airline in the mm -hmm. world. Um, how does this downturn compare to all those that you've seen off in the past? Well, we never say the oldest in our business. We always say the most experienced. So uh, we're the fourth most experienced airline in the world. And yes, we've been through many uh, crises in, throughout our history. Including Wall Street. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, we've survived them. We, we know how. We know how to treat our customers. I think anybody who has had um, the experience of flying with us can guarantee or can, can be witness to the type of service that we offer, especially on our long-haul flights like London Gatwick, Mexico City. We offer a service that may be as unparalleled in the industry. And Mexico as a destination took a severe hit with the swine flu. How is the situation at the moment? We're beginning to see traffic picking up. Unfortunately, yes, uh, we did see our load factors drop almost 50% overnight. But this summer looks like we're having healthy seasonal load factors. And we believe that it's picking up. However, this will be a difficult year overall, not only for us, but for the entire industry. And what message would you like to send to the industry about the situation and well, what, what you do to pull together? Mexico has always been a uh, very friendly nation. We have some of the world's most renowned and best tourist destinations, such as Cancun, Puerto Vallarta, uh, there's Huatulco, there's even Acapulco, which are beautiful resorts. Um, we want uh, the people from the world to come back to visit us. Mexico now more than ever is receiving all of our international friends with open arms. So it's, it's time to come back. We have deals, promotions, which we've never seen before in the market. And not t I'm not talking about last year rates. I'm talking about maybe last decade's rates. So this is the best time to come. Try us again. And in September, you have the World Travel Awards as well coming. It's the first time it's being held in a Central American country, and Mexico is being selected. Yes, we're very happy. Uh, we will be receiving all of you with open arms. Uh, let's hope we win something. So you've, you've done well in the past, particularly in the business class. Yes, yes. We've been, uh, we've been awarded three times in a row in the past five years. Uh, as the best business class service in our region and the best airline for eight years in a row. So that should say a lot about the experience that our passengers have when they fly with us. Okay, well, thank you very much for joining us here on Breaking Travel News today. Well, I'm delighted to be here. Okay.